The head center. Again, the head center is the pressure to think. You can think of it as the fuel to think. And unlike every other center in the body graph, the head center can only be connected to one place, and that's the ajna, and that's how you think. So if you have the defined head center, it automatically means that this center is defined, and that is unique to the head center. Everything else can be defined from various directions, okay? And it just means that this center can only be connected to that center, okay? Now, if you have the defined head center, that means you have a defined mental pressure. You have a defined amount of pressure you're dealing with to think, and because of this unique configuration, you have a very precise way in which you think. This is what can be interesting about um, learning a little bit more about your human design chart because you can actually watch your thinking process, you know. I can really watch my thinking process because as I said earlier, I have these two defined. And I can watch my thoughts pressure other people to do things even though I'm not meaning to. You know, I'm just sitting there thinking about something and someone has an idea, they think it's theirs, they get up and go do it. I didn't mean to do that, you know. But I've seen it happen more than once, you know, and it's, it's kind of spooky, you know. And, um, you know, if they ask, because I'm a projector, I can't just say, hey, that was my thought. You know, if they ask, I'm going to look, I, um, I don't think that was your inner authority. I think that was my head that was doing the thinking, you know. So uh, maybe check in with yourself and don't let your mind drag you around because this is really where you can get pressured, you know. Now, um, and that also means if I wasn't operating properly, you know, and this was what, I, what a friend of mine refers to as the dark self, you know, I could have these thoughts and think these things need to be done and I could get around you guys that have this open and really put pressure on you with my thoughts and really put stuff in your head and, and try to make you think the way I did and all that stuff. And that's what's going on to everyone on the planet. If you have this open, look, the thoughts in your head aren't yours. It means you're not here to deal with it. You're not here to worry about what's going on up there. You could have absolutely no pressure. You know, unlike me, again, I have a defined, I have a defined pressure to think. But when it's open, it's undefined like that, it's not defined, and it means that you could go from a very calm pool, maybe no thinking going on, you know, almost this kind of calm mental pressure, to, in, in, you know, unbelievable anxiety and pressure if you're out, and let's say, in, you know, the World Trade Center just got bombed and everyone's in that fear and all that mental anxiety and you're taking that in and you start doing things from the level of mind, you're so screwed because you're not here to make decisions from that. No one's here to make decisions from here, okay? Please understand that. You know, we are not here to think about our lives. We're here to drive these vehicles through space and see out this window. Potentially, there's a great wisdom that comes up here, you know? You could see what's interesting, you know, what's worth listening to, and who's full of, you know what. Because, you know, if you've got an open head center, you know, you can see the mental pressure come and go. You can watch it like a wave. And, you know, you know I don't know is your mantra for the open head center, you know. I don't know, you know. It's not, your, it's not even your question that's in your head. So you don't need to deal with it. If you got the open head center, your wisdom comes by understanding the nature of mental pressure and what it does to you, and more importantly, probably what it does to other people, because if you're into the, this far into the learning about human design, you're probably starting to get wise, you know? And being wise makes this, fun, this trip really fun, you know, it does. So that's a little bit on the head center.